Please welcome Prakar Marotra. Uh, uh, I'm very excited to be here in front of you. Um, and first of all, thank you all for coming to our developer day. Uh, Jeff talked about uh, something very important, like the, the paradigm shift that we are seeing in, 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 in this world. I mean, we are living it right now, agentic commerce, agentic payment. The word agentic is all over the place. And uh, so I thought I'd start with the difference between agentic and non-agentic. Like, what does it mean? How are those two different? And so. In a non-agentic world, uh, uh, you as a developer are spending all your time and thing through everything about API orchestration, your workflows designing. You spend a lot of time in that aspect. In an agentic world, you delegate. Your design principles are fundamentally different. You have some sort of a protocol or a server on the, on the other side, and that's how you are talking, and that's how you're communicating. And what it means for humans, the person who is consuming your services, is that in, in an agentic world, I am now going to become more lazy. I'm now going to now delegate my tasks. I'm now going to interact with you in, language, in, in natural language format. So agentic is a fundamental shift, not only for developers, but also for consumers. And that is very, very important. And so you've heard this term MCP going around a lot. And, and so I thought I'll just I'll walk you through for one minute the way I thought about MCP was that you have any, if, if before November 2024, before uh, Anthropic announced MCP, if I had to talk to any services, if I had to have my LLM talk to my services, it was a nightmare. You could pull it off, but it was genuinely a nightmare, right? You have to have perfect API documentation. You have to have somehow LLM 99% of the time call that, that API right time. It wasn't like, but what MCP allowed you to do was to make that seamless. And not only, not only you can connect to now my databases, you can connect to any sort of order management system, product catalog, pretty much anything that you can imagine. If there is an MCP server, you can talk to it. And that's the power of, and that was in a multi-agent system, that was the missing piece. Like we, we over the last 50 years of AI history, everybody talked about agentic systems, everybody talked about single agent, but there was no formal way for two agents to communicate with each other. And that's what MCP did. And that's why we at PayPal have now embraced this wave. And we are like, well, if you want to talk to PayPal, you can now talk through our MCP toolkit, our MCP server. And so we released this a few days back. And so this is a very good example of invoicing. Like, just look at this workflow beforehand. Like, you have to hit the invoice API. You have to validate the payment method. Like, you're spending a lot of time in before. Today, you just call PayPal MCP toolkit. It does the job for you. So you, as a developer, have, have to worry about other things. Like, you don't have to worry about PayPal's APIs. The PayPal MCP server will take care of it. And so the design principles have changed. And this is what I want you to remember over the next two days as you're building the applications, as you're participating in Hackathon, as you're thinking about this agentic world. Your job is no longer to figure out various API calls and all. Think about MCP servers. Think about A2A protocols. And our partners here will talk more about that. But think about that. Your role as a developer is fundamentally changing. And so uh, this slide, I think, uh, takes away that point, right? Like, I mean, MCP allows for robustness. It allows for a very forward-looking design pattern, right, which is yet to be discovered. I mean, we are living it right. I mean, the, the rule book is being written right now as we speak on what would be the, uh, Michelle talked about an agentic developer. What does that mean to be an agentic developer? Uh, 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 I, mean, I mean, MCP so protocols, agentic AI also gives you some robustness. Uh, if you are a merchant, what does it mean? Well. Your time to market has shrunk dramatically, right? You are, your overhead is lesser, right? Like instead of spending an army of developers or, or, or engineers, you now have one engineer do basically the same job. So that's what is powerful for, for merchants right now, right? You are, you, are, you are able to now use the same workforce to call other services. You are offering a much, much better enrichment to, to your end customer, which is what you care for. And so uh, uh, where, what does it all mean for PayPal or what we are doing? Well, PayPal has gone mainstream. We have embraced 
pretty much every protocol out there, A to A, higher level abstraction, A to A protocol, uh, MCP protocol for function calls, we are on it. We are committed to provide all our APIs, all our services through in an agentic world, right? You just have to name it, envision it, PayPal will have it for you. We are all here to help you, to demonstrate you of how to use some of their capabilities, these protocols, along with PayPal services. And then, of course, PayPal has the data. It has got your back. It has, it has your massive two-sided network that helps you set up for success. Thank you.